So for now, I'll teach you how to make YouTube thumbnails, like the very basic. So, um, like this one. It's just like a picture with a word on it. So I will teach you a process, like the very simple process and how to do it. Okay, so just continue watching the video and let's find out. So what I actually do with that is uh, I find a a what we call it an application that we can be found in the Play Store. So there are lots of application actually that can uh, help us in making a thumbnail. So the thing that I'm having is this. Um, I just forgot the name of that. It's not actually thumbnail maker. The name of it is like a logo. Me. Let me uh, search that one. Yes, this one. The logo maker plus. This one I'm actually having right now. So the reason why I choose that is because, um, like this. We're gonna open this. You have an option to, like, do a lot of things. It's not only limited to you film, uh, you making, but also you can create on, like, logo, uh, Twitter post. Let's check this one. Like you have an option to make a logo, uh, Facebook cover, Twitter cover, YouTube cover. Yeah, and this one, uh, YouTube thumbnail, Twitter post, poster, flyer, Facebook post, Instagram post, Tumblr graphic, Pinterest pin, and so on. So there are lots of uh, options here that you can choose from. It's not just limited to this YouTube thumbnail. So that's why I choose this. So let's uh, continue doing the YouTube thumbnail. Alright, so again, this is the very basic thing to do. Like, uh, it's for the beginners who's having a hard time making a thumbnail. So, um, what we need to do is just to tap it. And, alright. So you have an option, it, it depends on you then, uh, whether you're gonna choose from here, this given. Um, like pictures but what I actually do is I want to do like my own thumbnail so uh, to be more creative I choose the blank here all right so that's it so this thing will appear it's totally blank so to fill it up uh, you need to open this like a camera icon here we're gonna tap for this and then the crop in picture and then go to gallery actually I have a lot of pictures that I can choose from to do the thumbnail so let's say for example I will choose this um, what is this picture it's a city so after that we're gonna uh, crop the picture and then crop alright so the picture was transferred automatically here so we can maximize it to just uh, fit the entire screen. All right. So to add more, um, it calls features to this, like more, um, we call this eye-catching thing. Um, you can actually add more. Like you can uh, download a lot of uh, PNG pictures, uh, PNG files on Google. So um, I have a uh, stored PNG. In the gallery, so I will look for that. See, so this is the the thing I'm talking about. I have here the the fire PNG. So you need to crop it again. All right. It says the fire. Let's transfer it here. So you have an option to move the fire here or here. Uh, it really depends on you then which uh, it's up to you which is more convincing like more um, attractive more eye-catching for, for the viewers so you can actually also adjust the fire the position so I guess it looks more I and mean, then realistic that way and to add a text to this you, you can just um, tap this uh, this letter here 
a plus and then so we can write a word say for example I will write I will put the word um, what is this fire incident this one so this is the word and um, you have an option to change the font it depends on you then on what font style that you want to use so for now let's try this number 31 alright guys it's more convincing to use this number 40 here like that one and um as you can see the the font style or the word is not like um visible it's hard to read right you can actually adjust the color of that just tap this track icon here and we have an option to choose a color um i guess the font style is not really that good so i'll, I'll change that so to change the font style again you can top that um this word and then find another font style so like this so it's more readable and to make it more readable you still have an option just try to navigate guys we have an option to do some or put some highlights in the word like this one all right guys it's more readable now or like that mm -hmm. so you can also I mean adjust that according to your preference so like this fire fire instant and then you can actually move the fire again like that all right so I guess um, in this simple picture you can actually help your videos to be I mean uh, we call this to be noticed by the public because it's more eye catchy. I think so. So you can actually uh, save the picture now. Just stop this um, check icon here. But if you want to do, know more about this whole thing, you can try to navigate guys like this. The purpose of this is just to give a highlight. Anyway, it's not. The important thing is that well, I had able to teach you the basic thing in you know, making this um, YouTube thumbnail, right? So to save this, you can find this like a um, we call this floppy disk. Oh, but this icon, just try to look for this and then stop it. And it's either you wanna save this as a PNG file or a J JPG, like. The JPG is like a normal picture, but the PNG is like, you can use this picture as a background in your other picture. That's the difference among the two. So, um, I will just select this JPG here and then download. There we go. So, the, the picture has been saved in the gallery now. Alright, so let's check that picture if it's already in the gallery. Album. Mm -hmm. this. this one, Lilex. So, the picture is here. Alright, so we use a thumbnail for me for a uh, called YouTube video. Alright, so I hope this uh, simple tutorial had helped you a lot in you know, making your and your own YouTube thumbnail, especially for the beginners who's having a hard time doing the thumbnail thing. And thank you so much again for watching guys and I hope you subscribe to this channel and uh, please click the bell icon for you again to be notified of my future video uploads. Thank you so much.